Hi guys, today we are going to talk about tiger nut, scientifically known as Cyperus esculentus. Despite the name tiger nut, they are not actual nuts, but are instead tuber of yellow nut sedge because they are a plant species in the sedge family. This particular crop is very lucrative if one wants to venture into its farming. Follow us to the fold for the guidance on all the stages in tiger nut production, thus from planting to final consumption. To plant tiger nut for efficient harvest, you have to first plow your land with tractor or manually to loosen the soil. Use peg and line to ensure good planting density and to avoid overcrowding of plants. Note, planting material for tiger nut should be dried nut of about 10% moisture content. Please avoid planting fresh tiger nuts because they will not give good germination or may eventually rot. Interroll planting distance should be 50 to 60 centimeters between each line. And planting depth should be about 4 to 8 centimeters from the ground surface per 1 to 2 seas in a hill or per hole. The planting time of tiger nut in Ghana is between mid-March and mid-April for major season and ending of August to mid-September for minor season with approximately 15 to 30 centimeters intra roll or a separation between seeds in a roll. The planting density of tiger nut is usually high. 40 to 45 kilograms of tiger nut are required per acre. They usually take 7 to 10 days to start germination. Please ensure soil moisture until final germination. After germination, the root of the seedlings have the ability to creep underground to produce many shoots from the ground to form a cluster of many seedlings even though one to two nuts were planted per hole or per hill. Note, chemical fertilizer application is not needed in tiger nut farming because the nut always tastes sweet when it is organic. Start weed control after three weeks of planting. Ensure weed free until harvesting. The root start forming or developing nuts after six weeks to two months after germination. Maturity of the tiger nut is noticed when the plant leaves start to change from green to yellowish in appearance. Harvesting of the tiger nut can be started in the third month after planting. Thus, when the leaves part of the plant start drying out. Holes are used to dig out the tiger nut from the soil for them to be gathered in containers. Gathering of tiger nut requires a high number of laborers or workers. This involves sitting, crawling on the ground, and standing. As you can see, these workers are seriously gathering the tiger nut. As soon as the tiger nuts are gathered, they are taken to the riverside, especially running water, to wash the tiger nuts from soil and crops remains.
in this process the harvested tiger nut go through three washing stages where the tiger nut loses their root their skin is cleaned and the defective nuts are eliminated once cleaned they are taken to the natural open place and are dried in direct sunlight the drying of the nut is the most important part of the process where caring take place the harvested nut comes with 60 percent moisture and are carefully dried down to less than 10 percent in the sun for the first three days and are partially dried in the sun for the rest of the drying this gradual slow drying process will give a balanced flavor to the tiger nut and natural sweetness the dried tiger nuts are then sought to eliminate impurities that may remain from the fold a final manual selection is performed as a guarantee to obtain a product ready to market with my little experience in this tiger nut trial i have come to conclusion that tiger nut farming is very lucrative business to venture i still stand by my conclusion because i planted three kilogram of dry tiger nut but i was able to harvest 65 kilogram tiger nut this means Planting 40 to 45 kilograms of dry tiger nut can give you a total yield of 1 ton to 1.2 ton in average. Thank you very much for being with me. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to soak dry tiger nut to revive or regain its freshness for consumption and other uses. I will really appreciate your subscription to this channel for our subsequent videos. Bye bye for now.